Hey, I wanted to show you guys how to print eBay shipping labels from an iOS device. I have an iPhone 5 right now uh, that to a printer that doesn't have air print. This is a Brother HL2170W. It doesn't have air print, but I can still get my eBay shipping labels from my phone or my iPad to print out here if I'm just doing one or two labels and I want to get it done quickly instead of What you're going to need here are the eBay app and then you're going to need this Brother print and scan app. Uh, so it's basically just the way that the printer can talk to the iOS device uh, without it having a uh, air. All right, so the first thing you need to know on how we're going to get this done is that you got to create your labels from the app and then you got to print them out from the website. If you make them on the website, they won't be able to be picked up by the Brother Print and Scan app. They have to generate as a PDF and the website won't generate the shipping labels as PDF, only the app will. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the app, we're going to create the shipping labels, and then we're going to go back to the website, to a specific site, managing your labels, and we're going to go to reprint label there. All right, so here's pretty much your options when you go into the eBay app. You go into your sold item, and you hit print shipping label. It's going to load up the details. Uh, so just make sure everything is still correct. You know, when I did this listing, I was going to, I thought it was going to be a little lighter. So I just got to up this to about 2 pounds and 14 ounces. I changed the box size to six inches there. Uh, done. So I'm going to calculate out eBay shipping discount through these. Uh, and then what you want to do is just uh, when you're sure everything's correct, you go down and it'll have a few more options, but there's an address and I don't want to show it. You just hit purchase. And then it asks you if you're sure. Yes, continue. And then it's going to generate PDF. That's the important part. I'm just going to cover this up so we don't get any... Uh, Address is showing in the video. Uh, all right, so here's my label. Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, it just looks like that. Now, you won't be able to print it from here. Uh, what you're gonna have to do is just hit cancel and cancel. All right, so here's the next step we're gonna do. Now I'm on eBay.com. Uh, I'm using Safari to go to the website. You're gonna wanna go to this option right here that says shipping labels. It's under sold, you have to be logged in. So again, you're out of the app at this point. So this will come up with a giant tiny menu of all my different um, shipments. I'm going to blow up all the way to here and just hit reprint right there. And it takes you to a new page. Uh, it's going to say a whole bunch of stuff here. Usually I do this on my iPad, by the way. Usually this is a lot bigger because I'm using my iPad to shoot the video. <laughs> i got to do it on my phone. Uh, and you're going to want to hit reprint, reprint postage label. Boom. And that's going to bring it up here. It looks similar to how we saw it in the app, but uh, it's completely different because on this page, you can tap on it. And let's see this top left, it says open in. Hit that. Then you hit this brother print and scan. Now it brings it up here. All you got to do is hit print. You see the lights flicker in your house. And right on down here. This is all wireless, by the way. This is a brother wireless printer. You have your shipping label. That's it. Easy as that. So don't go buying another printer just because you don't have air print on it and you want to use your iPhone or your iPad to print out your eBay shipping labels. Thanks for watching.